Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I dabble with eBay a little bit and yeah, that's about all I do. Um, I pretty much just make videos about Poshmark, um, thrift hauls, and eventually I'm going to probably do some other stuff, but for now, this is what I'm going to do. So today's video is a Goodwill haul and it's from the bins. And I also have a partial thrift haul. Um, I didn't really get a lot, but I did get a few pieces from a couple thrift stores. So I will go through that as well. I haven't done a thrift haul in a really long time. So if you would like to see that video, then stay tuned. Okay, so I did get one hard goods item because it was in the, they brought out a bunch of pocketbooks and it was in that and I was like, I'm grabbing it up. I don't know if it's worth anything. It may not be worth anything at all, but I didn't pay, but maybe 50 to 50 cents to a dollar for it. But it's this cute little, um, it's a jewelry box with a clock on it and it's got like cherubs on it. Really pretty. Um, I don't know if the clock works or not. This is plastic over the front, um, but it's got like the drawers. It's just a cute little jewelry box. It does flip open. It's got the mirror, but it is broken on the back. It needs, this needs to be repaired right here. So I don't know. I grabbed it because I looked at the bottom, which is what I always do. And it says 1967 Hadea and company. Um, but you know, if I can't get anything for it, I might just fix it myself and keep it because it's really pretty and I do collect angels. So that would go with my collection. All right. So, um, it was kind of, it wasn't chaotic today, which is shocking, but I don't get to go to the bins often because ever since I hurt my back at my previous job in December, <clears throat> I still get back spasms. So, <clears throat> um, if I lean forward for a long period of time, my, the, my lower back will tighten up and then all of a sudden it'll just start spasms. It's horrible pain. Um, I did take a muscle relaxer before I went today just to make sure that that did not happen because it was horrible last time I went. I think I was there maybe 20 minutes and I had to leave. So um, I did stay for like an hour and a half today and I did not dig in the lower bins because we have like cardboard box bins and we have the blue bins. So I didn't dig in the cardboards because you have to really bend over to grab the stuff from the bottom. So I just stuck with the things that were my height. So anyway, I got some stuff, nothing like designer, like, um, but I did get one thing, which I think might bring me some money. I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. I will stop rambling. So they brought out the pocketbooks and we have what you call, um, money searchers they just search purses for money and stuff and they were like guarding it won't let anybody get near it and yeah so I had to basically wait for them to finish looking for their money and then I was able to start grabbing pocketbooks okay so the first thing I got was this bag unfortunately it is broken and I didn't realize it until just a little bit ago but it's they had this inside so I was like oh the straps inside well no it's broken so I was looking for the other pen because they did have the other pen in here. But anyway, regardless, it's still a cute bag. Um, I'll probably still put it up. Somebody might be able to craft. Um, but yeah, it's just this leather sack. It was cute, but we'll see. I always get screwed when I go to the bins. That's why I hate going to the bins. I see people who go to the bins and they get such great stuff. And I'm just like, hmm, must be nice because our bins is just full of junk. All right, so this is a Forever 21, which is something I don't pick up, but it had tags on it still. Um, it's a size medium. It was just this cute little crop top. So um, it's got like little flared sleeves. I thought it was pretty, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, you know, the advantage of going to the bins is everything is so cheap. You're going to make a profit no matter what. So, and some of these things I have not looked up yet. So I will definitely um, look things up after this video. <laughs> All right, so this is a Donna Care in New York. Um, it's a vintage dress. It's Bergdorf Goodman on the Plaza, New York. Um, it's a size 10 and it is a wool dress. It's just a black wool dress. Um, there was no flaws or anything like that with it. Um, this one is one of my thrift store finds. I looked it up. I didn't really see 
this exact dress whenever I was comping it, but we'll see. Let me try to grab this over here. Okay, so I got this Adidas hat. I don't know, I was thinking of just keeping it for myself, but it's just an Adidas little hat. Um, I found this cute little belt. I don't, it's from Old Navy, obviously, but it was so cute. I couldn't just leave it. It's just this butterfly belt and it just kind of clips. So I got it just because this light is probably going to affect, affect light is really bright. I have my ring light and I can't ever get my lighting right in my videos so my videos always look horrible. <laughs> it's okay. I will fix it eventually. All right. Uh, the next item I have is Nataline Della Rufogali. I don't know anything about this. I just I like the dress. Um, the sleeves were gorgeous and they are so it's a black dress and it has beading on it um, but the sleeves were so pretty I had to get it I did search it for um, yeah I searched for flaws I saw no flaws um, but yeah I thought it was really pretty I might put it on eBay I'm not sure yet I don't think that would really sell well on Poshmark but I might just put it on both. We'll see. Um, this is a pair of Lulu's, uh, Lulu B, whatever that is, size 10. They're just some cute little um, cropped pants. And the label is right. Lulu B. And I picked up a Victoria's Secret vintage robe. I don't ever pick up Victoria's Secret anymore. This is polyester, it's not even silk. But it had the belt with it and it's very rare to find an item with its belt at the bins. <laughs> so I was, oh shoot. Well anyway, I'll have to fix that. But it has the belt. It's just this vintage, it's a long, um, floral robe and I just ripped one of the tassels off so I have to learn how to sew that back on I'm sure I could do that okay I found this tie now I don't I'm not really educated in pricing of ties but this one is a brand that I am well you know familiar with it is Etro and Etro they are, they have a lot of very, very expensive things. So I guess I did get one designer type item. Um, I have not priced this, as I said before, so I don't know. I have sold a pair of Etro pants before. I think I, I paid $2 for them and I sold them for $75 on Poshmark. Um, I probably could have got more if I would have listed them on eBay because they were more of a older woman's style, like maybe, you know, somebody in their mid to late, 40s 50s something like that um is that bad for me to say that anyway so i don't know how much it'll go for but the design was kind of neat looking it's just kind of basic but it's i thought it was pretty if you can see it there's going to be a shadow because of my light all right i bought a bunch of these you know how goodwill well our goodwill gets a lot of overstock from target and these are just um, sh uh, burnout shirts that they still have tags on them. They're from um, the Overstock from Target. So it was just a bunch of these. And I'm probably just going to sell them all in a lot. I think they're all the same size. But it was like a tank top, a short sleeved, a long sleeved. Um, I think it's the Cleveland Browns. So yeah, I'll probably just do that as a lot. This is just a loft, which I don't pick up often, but I have sold plenty of loft. But it's just a tank top, a red tank top, and it's got like satin on the sides, or polyester. This is a Calvin Klein dress. It did not have a size, so I have to measure it, but 
oh wait, no, this one did have a size. I didn't pick up the one that didn't have a size. This is size six. So it's a black dress and it had the belt too. Um, I mean, Calvin Klein does okay. It takes a while for it to move, but people do still buy it. And it's a black dress, so I figured that might be good. This is another one of Goodwill's overstock from Target items. It's just a Joy Lab um, sports bra. I had a Joy Lab. <coughs> I had a Joy Lab um, sweatshirt that I sold not long ago, and I sold it for like ten bucks or something. I got it from the bins, and um, unfortunately, she said that it, it was too short for her. But I'm sure she repossessed it, so um, I still made a profit on it. All right, so this is a Nike fit. Um, it's just a long sleeve pink top. Um, Don't know how it'll do since it's not really long sleeve time, but we'll see. Um, this is called, it's by DL. I have no idea. I just like the style of it because um, it's just like a little cardigan and it has the, like the kimono sleeves. Um, it's just kind of like a boho-y looking top cardigan, so. I grabbed it and as for sizing, it's a small. Alright, so I picked these up from the thrift store. Um, it's just a Vera Bradley wallet. I paid 95 cents. They sell all their wallets for 95 cents. So sometimes you can get some really good stuff. But it, it was really clean and like excellent condition. So even if I only get a couple bucks for it, it'll be worth it. Because it was it's really cute. I like the coloring of it. I'll have to look up that pattern. Um, and then this Athleta, it's a maxi dress. So I know maxi dresses are really being searched for a lot on Google right now. So um, Athleta, size small. It's kind of rolled up. But yeah, it's just this long gray striped maxi dress. It's perfect for this time of year. Hopefully that'll go quick. I did comp that and they're selling for like between 30 and 40 bucks. So This was the other items I got from the thrift store. Um, they're both Sam Edelman. They are these cute, I guess you call them stilettos. <laughs> um, these are size six and a half, I believe. They're called the Marina. But they're in good shape. And then the other pair are these. These are the Harmony, is what it's called. And they're just these, I'm not even going to say that word, espadrille, espadrille. But yeah, and these sell for like between 30 and 40 also. Okay. I'm trying to grab all this without knocking over my... Okay, so I grabbed this. Now this is Juju. Now Juju, it does not, it's not like a big brand or anything, but I don't know if this is vintage because I have bought stuff from them that has this color in their denim, but just the fact it was a vest and people love vest, but it was a designed, I mean, it has all these things on it and I was like that's pretty cool like even if it's not vintage which I'm sure it's not um I mean it's kind of awesome looking I'm sure somebody could definitely put a nice outfit together with it but yeah so this is size small and I thought it was cute so it's just a denim vest with a bunch of charms all over it okay um, this is another Athleta dress. This one came from the thrift store also. And it is just this green long sleeved, of course. Um, just a green dress. I've had success selling their dresses, so I would say between 25 and 30 bucks is what I'll probably get for that. Um, this is another find from the thrift store. It's a BCBG Max Azaria and you know, I've had their stuff sit for a while, and I just kind of quit buying it. Yeah, this one was a dollar, so I picked it up, but it's kind of like a cotton, I think. 
but it has like the draped shoulder and then pretty you know pretty colors purple and tan so we'll see I don't know um, this one is an Adriana Papel I liked this one because it has the ruffle bottom so it's a knit material let me show you the tag Adriana Papel and it has this bottom that has like the the layers isn't that tiered layers whatever you want to call it I thought it was really cute um, these actually came from uh, high class consignments there was a bunch of consignment items that apparently have been donated um, to the store store that I went to and so all of the things I have actually had these consignment labels on them so a fanny pack because I've been hearing everybody talking about fanny packs and I actually tried it on whenever I was when ugh. so I actually tried it on whenever I was at the bins because I was like I wonder if I should just start wearing this eh. it was too tight I didn't like the way it felt it was just weird I need a looser one or I just well I'm losing weight so hopefully soon I'll be able to get one but yeah, it is a flight packs is what it's called. I have no idea, but apparently they go for a, you know, decent amount. Um, I always smell to see if it's leather. I think it's leather, but there was no indications of it being leather. I did see something that said made in China. So, all right. And as I was checking out the bins, I ran across this. It's a newer cabbie. Um, if you are not familiar, that is the newer cabbie tags. So those are the ones that probably still sell well. I don't really know because I get the older cabbie tags a lot. So this was like um, maybe the third time I found a square tag. Um, but these are just some, what are they called? Palazzo pants, I guess you'd call them. Thin palazzo pants. Um, cute. Kind of see-through a little bit not too bad and these are size medium now I'll also say if there's anything that you're interested in um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Ali Bethany and you can DM me and you know offer or whatever sometimes I will post stuff in my stories um, so you can purchase off of Poshmark because sometimes Poshmark's fees are a little high so I have to jack my price up higher just so I can actually make what I'm wanting to make um, when on Instagram or on my Facebook shop I don't have to do that I can just post it and then do free shipping and then just get my money and be done with it you know so um, definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not um, this is a White House Black Market. It didn't have labels in it, but I looked at the buttons. Um, that's another way. If you don't see a label, always look at the buttons because a lot of times it'll say what it is on the buttons. But yeah, it's just a little black cardigan. It felt really nice. So. You know, and this is just another one of those lot items. Um, the Cleveland Browns. This is American Eagle. I like to pick up their tops because they do sell for me. They don't sell for a lot, but you know, when you're getting it from the bins, it's, you know, eight, nine dollar profit. So just a cute little pink top. And then, oh, this is the last on this bag. I saw this and I was like, oh snap. I have been looking for Cole Haan coats for a while because they seem to be really, really good money. Now, I don't know, like, what the story is on this coat. I thought, well, for sure there was something wrong with it. Um, but I, I wasn't able to find, like, any holes or stains or anything. It definitely needs to be cleaned. But that's it. Um, it is 70% wool, 20% polyamide, 10% recycled cashmere. So, it is this black show you the tag Cole Haan so it is this black um, wool cashmere blend coat it's I mean to me it looks like it's an excellent condition like I'm like for sure I'm gonna find something wrong with it but I can't find anything wrong with it. I just feel like somebody just donated it it's a size 8 so it is a women's jacket um, which is something unusual I don't 
think I've ever found a women's Cole Haan jacket. Now, I don't even know if the women's jackets sell well. I do know that the men's jackets sell for like $300 on Poshmark. Um, so we'll see. Regardless, I'm sure that whenever it's time for people to start buying coats or whatnot, this jacket will probably sell and hopefully it'll pay for my entire haul, which is only 19 bucks. Um, what I spent today, 19 bucks. And I will try to calculate everything up at the end and tell you how much I basically pay for each item. Because I, I can't tell you right off the top of my head. All right, so of course, you know, this is, I, I know people, some people don't like to source for winter stuff now. But if I find something, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get it because the chances of, I mean, why wouldn't you, you know what I mean? Like if you find something that's really great, get it. Even if nobody's going to buy it right now, it will sell eventually and it'll be worth it in the end. But some people like to do quick flips and if they can't sell it within like a couple weeks, they don't want it. <clears throat> I'm not like that. All right. So this is just an American Eagle coat. Um, I mean, I have good success selling American Eagle stuff. People love it. So, um, and they do have a lot of cute stuff. It's just a cute little peacoat. Um, it's kind of thick like that one. What is this one? Um, yeah, this is a wool, um, uh, wool viscose and polyester and other fiber. So it is the same, like a wool blend. It needs to be fabric shaved a little bit. I don't know why I picked this up. Oh, well, it's Chico's, which I don't ever pick up Chico's, but it was really weird looking. So I was like, I'm going to get it. I don't think y'all can see that. I don't know. But anyway, it's just this little blazer and it has like the metallic stripes. I like that. I don't know. I assume if I like it, then somebody else must like it. But like, it's got the raw hem. It was cute. I bought these for my nephew, so I won't even. Um, this is a J. Jill. It is just a black sweater cardigan. Um, boop. But yeah, just a sweater cardigan. So I got this. I don't know why. It didn't have any labels or anything on it, but it was just this white one shoulder dress and I was like oh, this is really cute I'm pretty sure it fit my big old behind so I'm just gonna keep it for myself and if I ever decide to try to dress up like I'm important I'll wear it. um all right I'm on to the last bag a lot of stuff Whew. all right so this is a North Face jacket. Um, I don't like how these hold on to the lint. But anyway, it's just a North Face jacket. There. I have one in my closet right now for like 28 bucks. Just sitting there and it's like in brand new condition. Nobody wants it. So I'm gonna have to delete it and relist it again. Um, but yeah, so this is just a women's North Face jacket. It is a size I have no idea because it's faded, but it's a size something and I'll figure that out in better lighting. Um, I don't know why I grabbed this, but it's House of Lords. I don't know what it is, um, but the back of it, like, it, it just it caught my eye. It looks like angel wings. I'm pretty sure it's a men's shirt, but I thought that was so pretty. So yeah oh this is a lucky brand I think I've already got one like this it's just a lucky brand it's a sweater cardigan um, but yeah I'm pretty sure I have one just like this that I have not listed yet Oop. this is a Tommy Bahama long sleeve silk top it's not got any kind of funky print on it. It's just a basic top. I grabbed this because I didn't know if this was like worth anything. It's Sutton. It's 100% cotton woven flannel. It is just like a men's, a really heavy plaid top. It's like the heavy, heavy material. 
but um, I don't know. I mean, I know people who wear, like I in high school, I used to wear those as jackets over my clothes. I was like, I don't know, weird. All right, um, this right here is a Halston, Halston, Halston. And it's just a white coat. It needs to be fabric shaved, um, but it's okay. Um, this is an American Eagle sweater. Just a little basic sweater cardigan. I'm debating on whether I should just like hold off listing all of these winter type clothing or if I should go ahead and just do it. Um, do you typically do that? If you do, let me know if you list it or if you hold on to it because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, this is Lucky Brand. It's just a long sleeved, um, nice long sleeved button up. This one is wrinkled all the hill. It needs to be, um, oof. yeah, it needs to be steamed for sure. This is flax, um, and it's a medium, it's linen, 100% linen, just a little button up top, I thought it was nice. I don't remember why I picked this up. This one is B by something, uh, B by Burton, I guess, it's just some random shirt that I picked up because I liked it. Um, I don't think it's worth anything though. Alright, this is a loft dress. Um, I thought it was really cute. It's long sleeved and this one was on the dollar rack. At, this one was at the Goodwill dollar rack. And then this is a Sorrel International. I don't know why this ended up in my bag because I don't recall. So yeah, I don't think I put this in there on purpose, but I will just have to do some of that because I'm not going to sell that. <laughs> um, this is an Allen Flusser. I don't know. It was on a dollar rack at one of the stores that I go to. Just a men's plaid, colorful top. I thought it was kind of springy, so I thought that might be nice. This is a Zara. It's just a t-shirt. Um, oh, well, it's stained. I'm not even about to try to mess with that one. Not at all. Um, so this one is a Diane Von Furstenberg. However, I did end up finding it. I meant to put it back. It has this tiny... It's not really that bad, but right here... I don't know if you can see it. Right? Well, yeah, it looks bad. It looks bad from that direction. But anyway, there's a hole. A little... Well, it's not really a hole even. It's like a... Well, it is a hole. But anyway, it is what it is. You know, I don't know if I should even attempt to sell it how it is. Um, somebody wrote NY on the tag, but you know, it was, it was fine. So, um, but yeah, it's got a hole. It's just a wrap dress. Um, I don't know what to do with this. What do you think I should do with it? Should I toss it or should I just sell it with the defect and list it? Let me know in the comments. All right, two more things and then we're done. This is uh, an American Eagle men's sweater. And then last but not least, we have a Under Armour men's um, button up. It's got like that denim look to it. But yeah, so that was everything. And let me see. I can tell you how much I paid. Okay, so in all, I spent about $33 on both of those bags, and that's basically like 73 cents per item, um, if you break down like that. So that's what I spent on each item. Now, as for the other things that I got, those were, I paid $7.45 on one of the dresses. Um, and the wallet and then I spent uh, $13 on the two pairs of shoes and on the other things it was like $5 because they were dollar, dollar tags so 
Anyway, that concludes my haul. Um, as you saw, like the Cole Haan, I hope, I hope, I hope that that one does well. Um, but yeah, I just have a lot of bread and butter items because I just haven't really gotten lucky here lately. I haven't gone across town. Like I live on the outskirts of Columbia and if I go into Columbia and thrift there, I always find better stuff. But whenever I just stick to the area that I live in, um, yeah, it's kind of hit or miss. So anyway, that is it. I am done. I'm going to start looking up these items and see what I can find out about them. So I will post anything I find out in my Insta stories on Instagram. Um, as always, you can find me on Poshmark as Allie Bethany and that's it. So I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.